Yo, people, it's Henry Crackhouse once again. I've just finished walking out and um, I feel kind of tired and sweaty, if you can see. I don't know, but I feel good. It feels good to once in a while walk out, you know. If you haven't been walking out and exercising and keeping yourself active and fit, I strongly suggest you try it. I strongly suggest you do it. If you're fat, this is what I'm this is what I want to talk about in this video today. If you're fat, don't let your mind deceive you into thinking that it's because you're uh, it's because you've gotten some money and you're living well. If you're fat and oily, I'm going to call it how it is, fat. If you're fat, if you've gotten some fat on your body, your body is your neck is thick and swollen. Your face is oily everywhere is thick. I used to look like that two years ago. If you looking like that now, don't allow your brain to trick you into believing that it's because you've gotten some money or it's because you're eating well. No, it, rather it's the opposite. If you're fat and thick and oily, it means there is something you're not doing right. It means you're not living right. It means you're not eating right. It means you're not straight. It means you're not good. It means you need a doctor. It means it's a sign that you should change your lifestyle. If you've not started getting sick or feeling sick yet, you still have a chance. You still have time to turn your life around and stop and get rid of the fat. How do you get rid of the fat? This is where it's going to be tricky. You can get rid of all that excess fat if you stop eating what you're eating now. Because that fat, the fat doesn't come from any other place than your guts, your stomach. It comes from the food, the things you call food. The things you claim our food because some of the things you're eating some of the things we are conditioned some of the things we we have been conditioned to eat these days is are not food stuff we think we are eating food but we are not because once you turn something once a food once you take food out of its natural state process it and put it in a bag put it in a nylon put it in a turn or put it through any alteration you process it it has become it has gone from being natural being food to a product let's get that one straight so some of the things we are consuming now is are not food now what are the things we are eating and what are the things we shouldn't be eating? This video once again goes out to Africans, to Nigerians, to Africans. If you are an African living in the continent, on the continent of Africa, this video is for you. Let me tell you a little secret. You are the luckiest human being on this planet if we are living on. You are the luckiest human being on this piece of rock we call home. Do you know why and how you are lucky? You're lucky because you've gotten everything. Your planet, your, your sorry, your continent, your home, your continent is the most fertile land on this rock. Your continent, your home. If you're Niger person, if you're Ghanaian, if you're Togolese, if you're Kenyan, if you're Ethiopian, you're, you're, you are whatsoever you want to call yourself. If you're on the continent of Africa, your continent, your home is the most fertile land, piece of land, piece of real estate on this rock we call home, earth. Everything, everything in Africa grows naturally. Everything in Africa grows the way they were made to grow. The way God designed them to grow. Everything 
grows how they are supposed to grow. Everything on the continent, everything in Africa grows the way God designed them to grow. They grow in their natural form. You've got mangoes in Africa. In its in their natural form, not processed, no GMO, they still have seeds in them, mangoes. You've got apple in Africa, the real apples in their natural form, still with seeds in them. You've got purple in Africa growing naturally, some are even growing in the wild with seeds inside. You've got pears. Those things we call Eben, where I come from. In Africa, they still grow. You, you have avocado. They are big, grow naturally in Africa with seeds in them. You've got quaver, just to name but a few. Naturally growing in Africa. That is just... That is just a tiny, tiny bit of how lucky you are. In another way, how, and this is another way in, 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 to explain, to tell you how lucky you are too. Where I live, where I live now in Europe, people take supplements. People take vitamin supplements. People take supplements to balance up their vitamins intake daily, to balance up their, you know, to balance, you know, to, to, to generate more uh, hemoglobin, more red blood cells. They take vitamins to, you know, to, to just balance them up. In Africa, you've gotten that naturally. You don't need that because you, because you have it in abundance. You have those things in abundance. The sun gives you those things in abundance you know your vitamin d your vitamin d comes excess here people take supplements tablets just to make up for their this thing just to balance up their their vitamin d so so that they don't go for vitamin d deficient so that they don't have vitamin d deficit they can put that like that you guys have natural food. You guys have vegetables. You you know, everything on the continent of Africa is natural, organic. But are you guys eating those things? No, you are not eating those things. You guys don't eat that. You guys don't eat those things. You don't eat those things. Why? Because... You feel you are civilized because you are living in the city. So now you prevail packaged things. You prevail um, processed foods. Now you're eating Indomie. Why are you eating Indomie when you can eat mango? When you can pluck purple? When you can eat quaver? Why are you fucking eating Indomie? You're eating Indomie. You're eating pizza. You're eating white bread and eating those things and drinking and eating too much meat. Why are you eating those things? Those things make you guys to be fat. Those things makes you fat. And when you fat up and oily, your brain starts tricking you into believing that you are healthy. That you're fat because you've gotten some money. That you're fat because you've gone out to eat steaks. In Europe and in America, in the Western world, make I tell you how difficult it is for the government to regulate the amount of chemicals that is that goes into food product. The government is finding it difficult to control the amount of chemicals being applied to uh, to food products. The government is trying very hard to minimize, to control the, the, the level of food processing. It's difficult. 
And trust me, these people, they've gotten ministries. They have ministries. They have departments. They have a, 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 a sectors of government. They allocate huge amount of money to those places to go in to check those things. If you feed your cow some certain kind of steroid, you can go to jail for it. Yet people are still doing it. People are still feeding. People are still. We are still consuming genetically modified food stuff. Europe is developed, well organized. America is, but they are still finding it difficult to control that. Imagine Niger. How Niger could feed control those things? They they give you fake drugs. You they swallow fake drugs for Niger. Who, 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 where you feel say they control the amount of bad stuff where then they import come that Africa. Your leaders and uh, your leaders are too busy stealing your money. Your leaders are too busy siphoning money. Your leaders are too busy um, stealing. You know to do you know now I know the story. So if if they, if despite how these people have tried to control the amount of chemicals being used in food processing, some companies, some plants are still doing conny conny ways to apply. You know, you know, we are still eating genetically modified things. Picture how waiting you know they eat when you they go eat do a uh, uh, pizza. Picture waiting when they eat when you they go that fast food for Africa for Niger. Picture waiting then they ship them they import they import give you to eat because there is nobody to regulate those things. Nobody there to check waiting they inside those things where well, now they eat. Even if person they were supposed to check those things, the the huge companies, the corporation where they import those chemicals, toxic, come give you, then go use money, buy those people. But here, very hard for you to buy someone because you know if it buy one person, if you want to buy anything, if you want to buy bribe for where I live now, it means you've got to buy the whole government. You've got to buy everybody. By everybody, I mean you've got to buy the lawyers, buy even me, where be customer. Make I explain how. Make I explain what I mean. Let me explain that. For you to be able to bribe me, no, for you to be able to get away with doing conny conny stuff, eh? if you are selling food stuff, if you are, if you're a manufacturer, I, 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 as a manufacturer, if you want to do conny stuff, if I, if you write on your products that your products, that your product is organic, that there is no chemical, there is no added substance in your product, I, I can, I could go into your shop, buy that your product, take it to a lab. There are chemicals you can buy here to taste products. If I taste that your product and find and discover that there is a there is an added substance in it, I can sue your ass and they can shut your multi-billion euro, multi-billion dollar man a uh, production down. I can do that. But who fit do that for Niger? You fit do that for Niger? No, you know fit. So when you're consuming Indomie, instead of eating quiver, when you're eating pizza, instead of eating popo, when you're eating uh, the, the, the do not, when you're eating steaks, instead of eating bush meat once in a while, make you always remember, always remember that your continent, your healthcare system, your government is not on point, that nobody is checking what those things that nobody controls those things that you don't have a clue what is in those things you're eating if you think i'm tripping if you think i'm bugging next time you want to cook an indomie check the package check the package if you can read i i challenge you to read waiting day on that package for me i challenge you to read the contents you know go fit pronounce them you could the tetracyclo 
tetrocarbonate, tetronitric, tetrodistin, da, 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 blah, blah, blah. If you can't beat them, don't eat them. So lose some weight. Lose some motherfucking weight. Get rid of them fats. It's tough. It's gonna be tough. But with discipline, with discipline and determination, you can get rid of them fats. All you need to do is stop eating the things you're eating. Stop living the way you're living. Stop drinking. There is no fun in drinking. Stop consuming alcohol. There is no fun in consuming alcohol. I used to consume alcohol. I used to drink Hennessy. I used to eat at home. At my home. I have a bottle of Hennessy now. I haven't opened it in three years. I don't know what to do with it. I bought it 29 euros. I don't want to throw it away because that will be 29 euros, man. I don't drink anymore. There is no fun in it. I feel good. I fucking feel good. I made a video the other day. That I talked about my sleep apnea. I used to have sleep apnea. Sleep apnea is gone. No. I used to have high blood pressure. High blood pressure, gone. Those are metabolic problems. Those are uh, 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 those things. You shouldn't have those things. They say genetics. They say those things are genetics. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. You shouldn't have them. If your genes are on point, if your body is on point, if you're on point, if you're living the way God created you to live, if you're living the way God intended you to live, you shouldn't have those things. If you're eating the things God designed and planted for you to, to be eating, you shouldn't have high blood pressure. You shouldn't have sicknesses. We, as Africans, we were not designed to be sick. Look at our continent. Our continent is the, you know, is the harsh, is, is their harshest. Can I say harshest? Our continent is a very, is very harsh. It's a very tough environment. Our, our continent is a very tough place to live in. Do you know how hot Africa is? Europeans will pay big dollars to go to Africa to enjoy the sun. Anytime sun, a little bit of tiny, tiny, tiny sun come show, show face for here, people, they line up for street. People, they lie outside just to get that vitamin D. You dig? But we are taking it for granted. We take taken for granted. We were, made, we were designed to be tough, to withstand that toughness. You know, you know everything, everything where people they pay money here to get, we get them inside us. You ever ask yourself why the hell you are black? Ever ask yourself why the hell you are tan? Why you are brown? You know why waiting to happen when sun hits your skin? The vitamin D supplement where we people they pay 20 euros here to buy, to take. When, when sun hits your skin, it brings that vitamin D into your body and it boosts your immune motherfucking system. But when you begin the like, eat things, we begin the interrupt and begin the, the, the play tricks on that your immune system, you get wahala. So this video, I mean, won't talk about fat. But when I sorry, say sorry that I'm mixing pidgin and English. You know, you know, you know, you know how he is now. I'm a Niger person. I wanted to talk about fat. So if you're fat, it means there is something you're not doing right. You should change your lifestyle. Stop eating those things. Stop eating gari three times a day. Stop eating fufu three times a day. Stop eating cassava and uh, yam and plantain three times a day. Those things are good. Those are good starch. Those are good carbohydrate. Good carbohydrate. But remember this. Remember this. We the talk say too much of everything na sickness. God created those things. But if you overeat those things, they can kill you. If you overeat them, they can cause your demise. They can kill you because your body, 
your body stores is uh, stores in sh sugar. Your body, when your body has too much of it, it stores it and it starts to affect the level of your insulin. It, it begins to. I'm not a doctor, so I no go go into those things. I no go detail those things in a, like the way we make a knowing me yan. But what I'm just trying to tell you here is minimize the amount of those things you take, you put into your system. You should be eating those things at least once a week or twice a week. And the rest of the week, go closer to eating fruits. Go closer to eating leaves. If you cook, if you cook any kind of, if you cook any soup where you cook, if you cook any vegetable soup, eat the vegetable soup like that. Not with gari, not with pounded yam, not with fufu. Eat it like that. Take a spoon and eat the vegetable soup like that. And when cooking your vegetable soup, minimize the amount of fish. The amount, don't add crayfish and then add fish and then add pomo and then add meat. Come on, people. Come on, people. You shouldn't be eating those things. You shouldn't be eating for more cow skin. You shouldn't be eating those things. Because in your soup, in your soup, you you know, then you put palm, palm oil on top of it. Palm oil is good when consumed in, you know, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a reasonable um, quantity. But the way we they cook our palm oil, we can be, see, eh? see, see, eh? see, eh? see, eh? see, eh? see, eh? see, see, see. Say, make a tell you something. You see, we are Africans. I still believe in our African spirituality. You know, despite say I've been in Europe for close to 20 years now, I'm still an African. I still believe in an answer. I, I still worship an answer. You know, I still worship my African gods. You know. But, but, your Bible, your Bible says, give to Caesar what's Caesar's and give to God what's God. Isn't that what your Jesus said? Yeah. Make a tell you something. You see, Oyibo, Oyibo, now, them, they act like, say, they don't believe in, in, in those voodoo, what they call, quote, unquote, voodoo. They are acting now as if they don't believe in those things. But I tell you this. Remember in the medieval times, they used to burn people at stakes here in Europe. If they find out that you are a witch, if, you, if they accuse you of, 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 of witchcraft and voodooism, they will take you out, march you to an open market, tie you to a stick and set you on fire. But a few of them, a few of them, a few of them started asking questions. They started asking like, okay, because that time, the same thing we are doing now in Africa, if someone dies suddenly, we start to accuse some elderly person. We start to call someone a witch and a wizard. A few, we used to do that same shit years ago. But a few of them teamed up and like, no, there could be another explanation to all these things. If someone suddenly dies, they should there could be another reason for that person dying suddenly. That is how they came up with medicine. They came up, you know, you know, the 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 ancients came it, the Kemites, the Egyptian, what we call the Egyptian, they figured these things out years back. How do you think a, 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 a mummification came about? They figured these things out. Europeans copied that and practices and, and, and practice it, but we are still like not getting the whole picture. Europeans figured out that hey, there could be something else that is causing these things. A few of them they started cutting dead bodies open. They started <laughs> read your history. They started going to graveyards that time and digging dead bodies up and cutting them open to do a or, or, autopsy. Uh, <laughs> those people were labeled alchemists. Those people where started those things in Europe here, the church people labeled them a, a, alchemists. 
and and uh, and uh, 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 there is another word for for them that time. But these people were beginning to figure. They wanted to figure out why people were dying, so that they could put a stop to burning people at stakes, so that they could put a stop to people being accused of witchcraft and witchery and all those things. So they started stealing dead bodies. Read your books now. Take dead bodies out of the graves, cut them open to figure out why they die, how the bodies, how they, how what, how the human anatomy is. They applied the ancient knowledge, the Egyptians, the ancient knowledge, the knowledge of the ancient Kemites, the Egyptians, and figured out that hey, your heart could just stop pumping. If your heart is disturbed, if the flow of blood in your system is disturbed, why? Because you have so much fat on your skin, which you shouldn't. They figure out that if you eat what you're not supposed to eat and it goes into your guts, it will disturb the, 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 the balance of your good back, my, 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 my microbiotas and the bad microbiotas. They figure that out. They don't burn people at stakes again. When they figured that out, there was a problem between them and the church. Why? Because the church was still trying to sell their belief that, hey, you have to come pay tight in the church. The same thing we are fucking doing now. The church isn't telling you that you should eat right. They te they they're telling you to come to the church and pray and give tithes that God will heal you. How the hell will, will God heal you? If you're drinking, you know, if you're drinking three bottles of alcohol or three bottles of this thing every day and smoking. If you're eating indomie and eating shit and getting sick, how the hell is God going to help you? God is going to, God is going to help you if you help yourself. So there was a problem then between the heredites. That, that is the other word there where these people were called, the alchemists were called in Europe. They said, no, this got nothing to do with witches and wizards. This is what it is. It's science. This is what it is. They struggle, struggle. At the end, science prevails. But up till today, people, some people are still paying dues to the, to, to, to the church. But now they, because some people took that step, because some people made that move, they figured out that some of these things can be prevented. Some of these things can be reversed. They came up with drugs, the drugs we should take. They start making drugs because they figure that, hey, the food we are eating, the things we are supposed to eat, yeah, the, the environment we live in is not conducive for some things to grow. So they came up with alternative. They make drugs because they didn't, because they, oh, they figure there is no sun to give us the vitamin D. Oh, so this is what, this, this is how you get vitamin D. But since there is no sun here to give us, they came up with uh, an alternative. So, waiting you to eat, telling you, get rid of them fat. You can get rid of it. Stop eating those things you're eating. Stop eating those things you're eating. Stop eating what you're not. You know, you're not supposed to be eating those things. I'm Henry Crackhouse. I will see you guys in another video where I will talk about some other things. Until then, forgive me, say uh, they speak pigeon, they mix everything up and down. I'll be a Niger person. Do you know? As a matter of fact, you know, anytime we are commerce for here, anytime we are enter plane commerce for here and a pigeon steady and no sin. Like, if you like waiting, I just talk so please like this video, share this video, tell people about it and subscribe give me thumb up press that click that thumb up thing so that it will help my it will help the algorithm see my channel and spread this kind of info eat well man drink a lot drink water and eat well work out once in a while go for a walk i don't talk and before once in a while go for a trek go trekking climb a mountain buy yourself a fucking bicycle man don't be ashamed to ride your bicycle in Europe here, billionaires ride bicycles. So what you telling me? I'm Henry Crackhouse. I'll see you guys in another video. Till then, stay blessed. And remember, 
your life. Now you get them. No big person get them. Now you get them.